it's a towel underneath, so I may be a bit off. Get that later. Type C. It's fully charged. Battery is 1800 milliamp hours. Rated power 30 watts. I don't really know what that means. I mean, I want to compare them all by watt output, which is power output. But this doesn't really mean anything to me. I don't know if that's input or output or maximum power it can take. I don't know. I don't think it's 30 watts. It's, I think it's 10 watts or something. The rest of the video, I'll just talk about them. I've got three here. They're fairly common. That's the Home Bargains one, which is Nouveau made. It's, uh, I think they still sell this one. Maybe it's a newer version. This is from about two years ago. And this one's Lidl 2022. I bought this. I got it cheap, about £5 off. About £40 or £35 or something. I think it's a 2021 full size model. Because it was in the summer, I think they change them every year. I would say this is my, well, the best one I've got are these three, but this is a mini one that they're currently doing in 2023. Presumably they do a new one every year, I think, for the Christmas. Um, and they've also got a full-size one, not this one. Uh, it looks nicer than this one. So... I'll try and I'll compare them a bit. The Lidl 2022 one says 10 watts. So, but this feels like my most powerful one. Lidl 22. Lidl 22. Lidl 22. Lidl 22. Battery size 2400 milliamp hours. Power 10 watts. I don't have the box or anything for the for the uh, home bargains one. Maybe one or two years ago I bought this, but I think it's the same one. My hand isn't actually going like that in real life. It's the the hertz off my phones, I'm not picking it up right. Maybe I was going like that in slow motion. Yeah, I'm a, an ignoramus on these things, so I can't tell you much. But this is the first one I bought from home bargains. This may be incorrect, this info. I got it from Googlebird. And to me, it's alright. Like, but there's nothing euphoric about it, you know. I'm not begging to use this every day or whatever. Usually I forget, you know. But I think probably they could be good. Then I bought this in 22 summer. It was going £5 cheap or something. In the summer of 22, I think this is the... The 21 model, and I think they change them every year. And this one, air seems to come out of this, and I think it's to keep the, so the motor stays cooler for longer. 
this one definitely, oh, I forgot, it's got a thing under here, which is a bit of a nuisance because sometimes I'll leave it on and uh, I think it runs a bit here. Sounds a better motor, you know. But I don't think, I don't, I don't think of it as comfier as a, it's pretty harsh. You know? Oh yeah, I turned off that, I forgot. So I saw this around about September, Lidl, 23, and it's got this and the full size one at around about £45. So I just decided I'll, I'll try this. Probably it's not any better than the ones I've got. You know, it's, it's, each year the builds of these are getting better and better and style and you know things but I would have probably went for the full size one of a my hand's not going like that maybe I was in slow motion so this one's got a sort of it goes slow unless it's it gets a force against it and it speeds up probably to save battery and stuff but I, I don't know, sometimes I just prefer it if it was on full power all the time. But that's probably the way you're meant to use them, you know. Here's the info I got from Bard, it's like uh, the hertz. Is, uh, that, that's per second, isn't it? I think something like that. So they're all pretty much the same per second. If Google Bard is right, sometimes it gets it wrong. Amplitude, this is how, how far it, I think it vibrates. So the little, the big size little one does the most. Then, oh no, that's the same. Home burgers is the same. And then power, that's what I would be going by, but I don't know if they're talking about input power, or output power, maximum power. I just really want to know how much power the, the motor's going at. So I can't really tell, but this is what Google Bard says. A little full size 22 is 12 watts. The little one at the moment, 23, the small size, 15 watts. And the home bargains one, 15 watts. But the little 22 full size one says 10 watts, so I don't know. I checked Google Bard for the most powerful one, and apparently it's the Theragun Pro at 160 watts. That's what Google Bard says. I don't know if that's correct, but. I mean, this is like the kind of thing you'd use to drill up a road or something like that, but it'd be interesting to try the top-end ones to see to see if they're magical, really, you know? And then a typical good one from what I saw is around about 30 to 50 watts. And there's a 31, 30 watt one I saw, Theragun Mini. I think this is Google Bard that's suggesting these. It's about £180. There's a 50 watt one, Theragun Prime at £275. When I checked their website, I couldn't see wattage. So, I mean, the government should force technical specifications to be, you have to post them on your, on the stuff you're selling, you know, so we know exactly what's happening. Yeah, I don't know whether stall force is maybe a way of telling you a good one or not, you know, because most of these ones I can stop all of them, I think. Uh, some stern one. I'll go right up high. Yep, still managed. This one is easy to stop. I don't know if this is a, a sign of weakness or something, I don't know. Oh no, I'm not. Yeah, I can't stop this one. Oh well. This one I can stop easy, I think. Put it up high. I don't know if that tells you anything, though. This one doesn't have any of that switch. 
I don't know enough about these to tell you whether they're, they're worth it at all or whether it's better to get a really expensive one, which I would like to try. I feel there's something to the idea, you know, concept. The way I'm using them mainly is using them on my thigh and um, I'm trying to systemically, you know, stimulate calmness via my thigh. So, thigh. so I'm not really going for local boost, although I probably should. But I think, well, it's a nice thing, isn't it? I think around about 20, 30 pounds, I think, really. But then, would we really be better to buy really expensive ones, you know? Because maybe around about the 30 watt, 50 watt power thing there. I don't know. That's, that's the main thing. So I can't really tell you. All these are pretty decent, even that one. The home bargains one, which is really heavy and horrible looking. Maybe it's a starting point. And like I say, I can I can't stop this one, which might be a good sign. I don't know. It's not that noisy. And this one feels more professional, but it feels a bit harsh, actually. This is not this year's model. Because I think we should be looking for things like this, you know, artificial stimulants, you know, that are nice, you know. And if you can buy them, then so be it. Maybe we'd, uh, the world would be a happier place, you know. I mean, for me, this sort of journey was because uh, one time I went to a sort of herbalist guy and uh, I was going on about IBS or whatever, IBS, or this, that, you know. And then he got up and he, he went behind me and he started massaging my neck and all that. It's a bit strange, but it's nice. And then he, uh, then he started moving my neck a bit, you know, quite tough. And I was thinking, hey, it's getting a bit out of control here. But then he went bang, bang. And I thought he was going to kill me, actually. But every single bit of uh, tension in my body vanished. It just totally vanished. And then two seconds later, it all came flooding back. So that's what's put me on this holy grail, really, you know. Um, especially if you can, something you can artificially do at home, you know. Uh, buy from a shop. So I'm presuming he did chiropractor, I think. I'm presuming that's what he was doing. Uh, but I went to another chiropractor and he did do the click on your neck. It's the click in your neck. I don't know, maybe I'm holding my neck wrong or something. And, uh, but that other chiropractor, it was just too gentle. It, it was just a soft click. It didn't take away all the tension. I mean, the other guy I thought was going to break my neck, you know. But I couldn't afford, couldn't afford to keep going around. So, because after that I thought, well, maybe most, many of them don't know how to do that. Or I probably should have kept going to the other ones, you know. But uh, it just goes to show you what's out there. I mean, I don't even understand how it's possible, you know, you think you could just go to the NHS or something and just, yeah, sure, we'll sort it out in two seconds or whatever, but uh, life's not like that. So as I say, I can't really tell, recommend one of these. I think, I, I'm still, I think the idea's good, but I've not, I still don't do the, these every day or anything like that. I need to remind myself, usually to make a video, I'll need to make a video on this, you know, that sort of thing. But they're definitely getting more stylish. And, I'm, you know, even from three or four years ago, I mean, this is like, probably like two years old or something. I think Home Bargain still sell this one. But uh, I'm in with the concept, but it's not been utopia yet, you know. So probably, if I was buying again, I might try that 
I might look for one like around about 30 watts, 50 watts output per, you know, to really get an idea. But I can't afford uh, that one. I would buy something like that if it was guaranteed to get rid of all my stress, you know. But it's not guaranteed. And then I buy it and it doesn't. So I really can't help you. But these things are nice. That was only £25. Around about September 23. I would probably get the full size one if I was buying again. I think it's about £50 now at the moment from Lidl. But I would probably buy it from somewhere else now. I would probably I would be looking you know, for a 30 watt power or, or maybe even higher, you know. It's in soft ground here, but that home bargains one's pretty heavy. 785 grams, it says here. This little full-size one, about 559, yeah, it's a bit lighter, but not much. This is quite heavy as well, 455 grams. Yeah, I think this market's in its infancy, you know, so... They keep coming up with new designs. That's not moving like that in real life. It's a lot faster. I mean, if you're just going for cheapness, I would just go for the Home Bargains one, you know, because it's, it's matching it for a, quite a lot here. Home Bargains. The Home Bargains one isn't Type C, which is a nuisance, you know. I've, I've nearly lost this a few times. Six seconds. It's nice, Mobby, it's nice. I think they've all got auto power off after about ten minutes. I'm just looking at the Vital Max. It's this one I'm talking about. And apparently, even though it's when it's going slow, it's still going faster each time than I expected. And then when you put pressure on, it goes a lot faster. I thought that was a sort of resting stroke thing. Government, you need to tell me to give all the speak. For those looking to choose between this, the little one, and the home bargains one based on price. I couldn't I couldn't really tell you, advise you. They're both pretty decent. This one's obviously a lot easier to handle and stuff and the classier. But for the actual thing, the movement, I don't know really. So this is a normal, no pressure. You can do that if you wish. So I've not really got a, an answer. Just keep on searching, guys, all right? Keep on searching. Apparently some people can do that chiropractor neck breaking thing themselves. But I had a go and there was no way I could see how I could do it without breaking my neck. But wouldn't it be good if you could just crack your neck? That neck cracking, I think, is frowned upon, but I don't know who by, actually, the mainstream or... So I don't know if it damages your joints or something, but yeah, if you can get it good, it's it's definitely something I would recommend. But like I say, I don't know if it does damage or if how many chiropractors can do that, you know. Maybe the common garden chiro chiropractor can do that or can't, you know, that sort of that great one that I first saw, but the second one didn't manage, was nowhere near doing that. So I don't know how, if you go and see a chiropractor, how likely it is you're going to be in euphoria or not, you know. Imagine you could get it through these guns, oh my goodness. <laughs>